This AI tool is insane. Upload your favorite outfit and a picture of yourself. Mask the area and one click to wear it. And the results are mind blowing. So are you ready to surprise your friends, family and fans with your favorite outfit? Let's find out how to do this step by step. And make sure to watch till end because I will reveal some very important settings and tips that will help you generate consistent results. First step is to find an image of your favorite outfit and download it. You can choose a specific dress that you always wanted to wear or simply search online. For this tutorial, I am going to use Canva for this step. Head over to canva.com and sign up with your details. Once you are signed in, click create a design and choose custom size. Enter 1080 by 1080 pixels and click create new design. On the left side menu, click elements and write dress in the search bar then click on photos tab and here you will find a lot of dresses scroll down to find the outfit you like and simply click on the outfit to add to your design after you have found your desired outfit crop and resize it to fit the area and once you are satisfied with your design click share and download it to your PC now that you have found your perfect outfit we will move on to next step which is to load our AI tool I have left a link in the description so go to this video's description and click on this link it will take you to this page make sure you are signed in with your Google account and then click this connect button it will take a few seconds and once you see this connected sign click this play button and then click run anyway to launch this tool depending on your PC settings it will take few minutes to fully load after it is fully loaded you will see this link ending with gradio.live Click on this link and it will launch this tool. Now you will see an interface like this. First check this advanced option and it will open up a lot of other settings. Don't be overwhelmed. Simply follow the steps I am showing you. On the right hand side, change the aspect ratio to 1 to 2 because we will be using a full body picture. Next, increase the image number to at least 2. Then go to styles tab and here you will see a lot of image generation models. By default, these three options will be already selected. Keep all three of them as it is and check one more option that says focus photograph. Then switch to the models tab and here set the LoRa 1 option to none. Finally, switch to advanced tab and here keep all the settings as it is for now. I will let you know when to change them later in this video. Now we are ready to write our prompt. However, if you wish to use your own image, you can escape this part. But I suggest that you keep watching because I am showing you the exact sequence of writing a perfect prompt that will ensure best and consistent results. To save time, I will also write my prompt going along with this step. First of all, we need to define the image style. For example, a close-up portrait, half body picture, full body picture, aerial shot and etc. Secondly, we need to define the who. Here we will define our desired characters, gender, age and ethnicity. Third, we will define what our character is doing and camera positioning. For example, standing in a gym looking at the camera or standing in a park looking at the sky, side pose and etc. Next, we need to let AI know the characteristics of our desired image. For example, hair colors, eyes, nose, skin texture, clothes and facial expression. And finally, we need to define negative prompt, which means the things we don't want to see in the image. For example, incomplete hands, more than one character, morphed or merged body parts, etc. But that's totally optional. Now, in our example, we will generate a new image based on the exact prompt sequence I have just explained. Because I have already put together a prompt, simply paste that into the prompt box and click generate. It will take a couple of minutes to generate the results. And here they are. I like both of them, so I am just gonna right click, open a new tab and then save these images on my PC. Now we will use our favorite outfits and change these images accordingly. Here I will show you two ways of doing this. First come here and check the input image option. Scroll down and switch to image prompt tab. Drop your image and write a simple prompt like wearing a beautiful red dress in a wedding. Change image aspect ratio to 1 to 1. Then choose face swap option. Increase the stop at value to 0.95 and wait to around 0.9. Then hit generate. And there are our results. Right click to open them in new tab and you can compare this with original image to see that it has kept the face and other things almost 100% same. Even the lighting and makeup is enhanced to reflect wedding style. And for me, this result is truly amazing. If there are any minor differences, you can easily fix them using Photoshop. Now let's see how to change the dress when we have a picture of our favorite outfit. For this, first switch to this remove BG tab and upload an image of your desired outfit and simply click remove background. 
and download the output to your PC. This step is very important because only the image with background removed will give best results. Next, we need to tweak some settings. First of all, remove the existing image that we uploaded in image prompt section. Then, change the image aspect ratio back to 1 to 2. Next, go to advanced tab and on the right hand side, under advanced mode, go to control tab. Here, check this mixing image prompt and in paint option. Then upload an image of your favorite outfit. In the image prompt section, make sure to change the setting from face swap back to image prompt and keep the weights same, i.e. 0.95 and 0.90 respectively. Next, switch to in paint and out paint tab and here upload your own photo. In our case, we will use one of the images that we have generated earlier. Now this is important part. Based on the dress style, you need to mask the area on the image of yourself. Hold shift key and drag the mouse wheel up to zoom in and on the right hand side adjust the brush size accordingly. Then carefully highlight the area where your new outfit will be swapped. Once this is done, zoom out and this time do not write any prompt. Delete the prompt you have already written and then click generate. Wait for a couple of minutes and there you go. It has generated two results. Let's open both of them in new tab. And you can see that the face, hairs, overall body structure and background is 100% same as before but the outfit is changed and it looks stunning. Let's try one more time so that you can also see the results in different poses as well. This time I will use the second image which is actually a side pose. Follow the same steps, upload a picture of dress and yourself. Mask the area and click generate. Wait for some time and here it is. And as you can see, the results are perfect in a different pose as well. Let's compare it with original image and literally no difference can be seen. It looks 100% real. It's all about using those AI tools in a right way and testing it with different options. And with this, I will wind up today's video. I hope you liked it and learned from it. Comment to let me know about the issues you are experiencing using this tool and I will be more than happy to help. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. It helps a lot and motivates me to create more videos like this. Until next time, take care and see you in the next video.